Welcome to the Obsessive Gardener. Welcome back to the Obsessive Gardener. This beautiful pepper was created by Mark Wilkerson. It is a white ghost crossed with a Dougla yellow. And uh, it's got a beautiful shape to it. So let's cut it open and look at the inside real quick. Uh, Mark sent me a box of peppers and um, this was one of them. Looks pretty beautiful on the inside too nice big placenta plenty of seeds and let's look at the other side real quick very awesome looking pepper welcome back to the obsessive gardener today we're gonna look at a cool pepper it's a cross created by Mark Wilkerson. It's a white coast cross with a seven pot Dougla yellow. Now, um, I know the chocolate Dougla, there's been a little controversy of whether or not it's like the hottest pepper in the world, or at least that it's hotter than the Carolina Reaper, which I'm not sure if there's been any um, evidence that that's true. Um, I think that sometimes seven, or I'm sorry, chocolate pods just seem hotter just the way they burn I've heard that could be the case too um, which could be very true anyways we're talking about this pepper so yeah white ghosts crossed with seven pot Dougla yellow created by Mark Wilkerson um, all right so this is my fourth pod review today um, the last pod review I did um, I didn't think it was that crazy hot and then I walked away and like two three minutes later after the video was over I was on fire it was a super creeper anyways um, I'm gonna try to hang out a bit to see uh, how bad this thing is I, I have a feeling it's gonna be really hot so I'm not gonna eat the whole thing but a nice chunk all right here we go Here comes the heat. <clears throat> Got up some bitterness. <clears throat> so it's pretty good. Up front, kind of that ghosty kind of, I can kind of taste like seven potty, ghosty. I can taste both, both sides. Um, and then, yeah, right as I'm about to swallow, I hit that bitterness. And then now the heat's creeping up pretty good. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but that's the fog rolling in off the ocean on these hills behind me. So this is what it looks like all summer long out here. Most nights, uh, evenings, even during the day, a lot of the time, especially in June and July, foggy and cold. <clears throat> we live about five miles away from the Pacific Ocean, and uh, I'm not complaining, but... It's just a bit too cold for um, super hot to really grow very well without a greenhouse or a hoop house or something like that. Anyways, heat is good. Um, I think my tolerance is up a bit. It's still building, I think. But I have to say, um, <clears throat> flavor, I'll give it like a, a five. Um, let the heat build a little bit. Um... <clears throat> say the heat's like a six six let's say 6.5 it, it's it's hot it's pretty hot it is definitely a builder it doesn't hit you all at one time but all around good pepper um definitely do recommend it if you ever get your hands on some seeds and um i just want to thank mark wilkerson for sending me some peppers and um i, I really enjoy this one so thank you for watching The Obsessive Gardener. Uh, please like and subscribe.